Greetings again, VAC fans. I haven't done one of these closed room air particle count tests in quite some time because I haven't had any newer machines. So here I have this Mila Callisto S5281, clean fresh HEPA bag, clean fresh pre-motor filter, and I just changed the uh, exhaust HEPA filter out. Uh, and so all this stuff is basically brand new. Never use it to, to vacuum anything um, with the bag in here. And with this line voltage over here, I believe we're probably going to be looking at about maybe 117, 118 CFM with all the bags. Um, I've got a 10 minute uh, countdown timer here on an iPad mini. And you see this little Glade plug-in right here. I uh, used this in order to raise the uh, particle count because in some cases the particle count in this room can go as low as five or six thousand and it's tough to actually get the particles down to almost uh, zero so let's actually start with something that has a particle count of oh twenty twenty five thousand something like that so we're going to run this for 10 minutes and we're going to see what percentage that's the most important thing how far will this thing drop the particulate countdown specifically in the 0 0.3 micron uh, level so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take several different spot measurements. The room is closed off, windows closed, AC vent closed, and the door actually has been blocked off. What you see over here in the right is an interior closet, so that's not going to really affect the test. So let's get a initial condition see what we can do and of course I'll put the averages down in the description like I normally do if we can get a good focus there we go um, please pay particular attention to the temperature and I suppose humidity but specifically the temperature in the room because the the filtered HEPA exhaust from that Mila comes out at about well it's zero particles but it comes out at about 70 CFM and it also comes out at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to get hot. All right, so we're starting out around 25,000 something. And look, even two and a half microns, we definitely have some count in there. 140. Uh, that's rather significant uh, normally. Now, overall, right, if you've never seen this before, this little um, vertical white bar is well into the green, and guess what? That means the air is exquisitely clean, and of course, 10 micrometers, zero. Okay, so initial conditions, and off we go. 10 minutes.
Ooh, a definite improvement so far. All right, nice particle reduction. And the temperature in the room's gone up a little bit, not a whole lot, but some. Okay, so we're almost at half of what we started with. And it's going down. One more test to go.
if I would actually push the right button. What happens when you have too many machines, buttons on opposing edges? All right, final, final measurement. Focus. You can do it. There we go. Now let's see where we're at now. I think we started around 25,000 or so. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Excellent. Now, I just looked at my old YouTube video with the Kirby Centria 2. It's got more CFM, about 137. So this one's probably 20 CFM uh, lower, but the Kirby does not have a filtered exhaust. And the Kirby reduced the particle count by 68%. I think it was 68.1% under the same closed room 10 minute test. So this is going to be close. All right, so you've seen it. Temperature went up a bit, particle down, uh, particle count dropped like a stone. So I expected very good results from this. But it seems like it might be very close to a Kirby, which doesn't filter the exhaust. Really something. Just to show you, everything was in here. So here's totally clean HEPA bag. Never used for anything. Here is the pre-motor filter. Completely clean. Cut that up new. And here is, now I have tested this, it does blow a zero. Here's the new HEPA filter. So thanks for watching. Really dull and boring particle test count video. Stay tuned for more.